Welcome to the WebMD Health Discovered Podcast. I'm Dr. Neha Bhattuk, WebMD's Chief Physician Editor for Health and Lifestyle Medicine. If you've had any interest in optimizing your health, health span, longevity, and well-being, you've probably heard the term blue zones. Maybe you've read the books, Blue Zones, The Blue Zone Solution, or The Blue Zones Challenge, among others. For those of you unfamiliar with the term, Blue zones describe regions of the world where people live longer than average and maintain good health, and where there are particularly high numbers of centenarians. In 2004, Dan Buettner, an esteemed National Geographic fellow, set out on a groundbreaking expedition after his eye-opening journey to Okinawa, Japan, where he delved into the secrets of longevity and embarked on a global quest sponsored by National Geographic, to uncover communities where individuals not only lived longer, but also thrived in their later years. The mission led to the identification of five remarkable regions renowned for their exceptional longevity and vibrant lifestyles. Based on this foundation, Buettner often collaborated with researchers and expanded their exploration to other longevity hubs worldwide, cementing the concept of blue zones. Now working with cities and communities to lower rates of obesity and tobacco use, among other lifestyle changes, to dramatically lower healthcare costs and improve health. Blue zones and lifestyle medicine share several fundamental principles aimed at enhancing this type of health and longevity. First, both emphasize the importance of a plant-centric diet rich in whole foods. By prioritizing nutrient-dense plant foods, both approaches promote optimal health and longevity. Secondly, both Blue Zones and lifestyle medicine underscore the significance of regular physical activity in promoting overall well-being. And finally, Blue Zones and Lifestyle Medicine recognize the importance of strong social connections and a sense of purpose in promoting health and longevity, encouraging individuals to prioritize relationships and pursue activities that bring meaning to their lives. Now, Blue Zones and ACLM are announcing an incredibly exciting partnership to establish many new programs, among which are a new clinician certification status for Blue Zone certified physicians or Blue Zone certified health professionals. To walk us through this exciting news is Susan Benegas, Executive Director at the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Welcome to the WebMD Health Discovered Podcast, Susan. Why, thank you, Neha. It's a pleasure to be with you today. I am just so excited to dig in, but before we start exploring this topic, I'd love to ask about your own personal health discovery, your aha moment around why you think this type of partnership is just what we need to transform healthcare delivery. Yes, well, that's a great question. I would say my aha moment that led me into this space in particular of really championing lifestyle medicine was back many years ago in 2007. I was president of a worksite health promotion company and we were doing biometric screenings and health risk assessments. When anyone was found to have a chronic condition or multiple risk factors, we would say, well, you need to see your primary care doc and get a script. And then we would beat the drum of medication persistency. And finally, a moment came that I thought, Something is wrong here in this country alone. I think we have about 70% of Americans, 90% of all seniors taking prescription meds, spending more than the rest of the world combined. And that was a real wake up call to me. And at the same time, I was introduced to an oncologist who in her early 50s had suffered from fibromyalgia and a skin condition, arthritis. And she told me about a book that had changed her lives and changed the lives of many of her patients. And it was called the China study by T. Colin Campbell. And and I had never heard of either, went out, got the book. This was late 2007. Well, I say it was the most paradigm shifting read of my adult life because it really is what catapulted me onto this journey. And I ended up discovering 
many of the physicians, the visionary leading physicians who had founded the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. And that really set me on this trajectory. And long story short, in 2014, 10 years ago, I had the opportunity to join the American College of Lifestyle Medicine as its executive director. And a month before I joined, David Katz, founding director of the Yale Prevention Research Center, became president of ACLM. And he was such a champion of both lifestyle medicine and blue zones and would always talk about the need to marry lifestyle in medicine with lifestyle as medicine. And what that means is really what ACLM champions, which is infusing lifestyle medicine into clinical care, into health systems and clinical practices, but married with Blue Zones Principles, which is about transforming communities so that the healthy choice becomes the easy choice. And it's been an amazing journey over the last decade. And here we are to announce this amazing, amazing partnership between the American College of Lifestyle Medicine and Blue Zones. Amazing. I could listen to you speak about this for hours because it really, truly is an inspiring journey for me. And you are definitely one of those seminal figures that inspires me daily. So thank you for sharing that. Uh, Same to you. In terms of digging into this partnership, before we do, we know that the current trajectory of chronic disease prevalence, the rates of chronic disease, as you described, the associated costs are unsustainable. We're very passionately focused on therapeutic lifestyle interventions as part of this solution. And now I'm really curious about how this Blue Zone partnership builds on that work, the work that ACLM is already doing in clinic spaces. As you well know, we often say that at the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, one of our foremost priorities is to fill the gaping void of lifestyle medicine, which includes using food as medicine, in medical education doing so across the continuum, undergraduate medical education, graduate medical education, continuing medical education. And we have spent years and invested tens of millions of dollars to do this and are really at the forefront of filling that void. And that's to educate, equip, and empower medical professionals and those they serve. And yet we know that it's so important that the community support the adoption of these healthy lifestyle choices. So it really was this amazing marriage. And out of this marriage, which is multifaceted between Blue Zones and the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, will be the opportunity for Blue Zone certification. And what that means is Blue Zones saw that they had this amazing community-based intervention that's been proven time and time again, but they were missing one important piece, the clinician, identifying that it's our lifestyle medicine trained and certified physicians and medical professionals that really are the ones who are championing what Blue Zones represents, this really this vision of a nation and world filled with Blue Zones. And it's lifestyle medicine trained physicians who have the clinical expertise. And so with that clinical proficiency demonstrated through training and certification through the American Board of Lifestyle Medicine, the International Board of Lifestyle Medicine, or it's non-MDs, DOs who are then certified by the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, it's these individuals that represent that clinical proficiency. And so they will then have the opportunity beginning in 2025 when the Blue Zones course launches to then add an additional credential. And that will be to really that deep dive into the community population health piece of this that will be that added layer. Because our goal ultimately is to add years to lives and life to years and to truly rein in the unsustainable trajectory of chronic disease and the associated costs that is not only weighing so heavily on the United States, but on so many countries around the world. And so this is really a, an amazing, not only nationwide partnership, but global partnership. Uh, Because already there are nearly 7,000 clinicians around the globe in 75 countries who have already 
become trained and certified in lifestyle medicine. And it's they who first will have the opportunity to buy for the Blue Zones added certification. So can you talk a little bit about what you envision with regards to really bringing some of that community information into the clinic and vice versa? Absolutely. Well, what is so fascinating that it was actually 20 years ago that the American College of Lifestyle Medicine was established in 2004. And it was in 2004 that Dan Buettner coined the term Blue Zones. And so we've each been on these parallel pathways. And Blue Zones, of course, are, it's when Dan Buettner, a fellow of National Geographic, looked at all the populations around the world to identify those that had the longest longevity and the lowest incidence of chronic disease and to find those common denominators amongst those populations. And what he found and what these communities show is that it's very consistent and congruent with the six pillars of lifestyle medicine. And Neha, as you know so well, the six pillars of lifestyle medicine, a whole food plant predominant dietary lifestyle, regular physical activity, restorative sleep, stress management, powerful social connection, and the avoidance of risky substances. And Dan Buettner will often say that eat your beans because looking at the Blue Zones populations around the world, a common denominator was a cup of beans a day or more. For example, fiber-filled, nutrient-dense foods like this. And also, he will say, for many out there, you don't have to run a marathon. It's really the physical activity in these Blue Zones populations were being active throughout the lifespan, walking, gardening, simple things like this. So it can be attainable. And so over time, when the Blue Zones was established as a actual company in the United States and began to really systematize these principles into communities, going in and working with communities, with schools and with employers, it's the marrying of that knowledge and expertise with the clinical expertise. And we have so many plans of what will be part of this relationship with the certified physician and clinician opportunity just being one of them. We'll also, in working closely with former president Dexter Sherney, who has been president of the Blue Zones Institute, that institute now will marry with ACLM's innovation, research, and practice advancement departments as we launch the Center for Lifestyle Medicine Innovation to move forward with research and pilot projects. I think truly so important in terms of having that research base and that evidence base to draw from. And so I'm very curious then about how are we envisioning the certification to be different from being a board certified lifestyle medicine provider? Yes, yes. Great question. Well, when someone is, when a physician or a medical professional is trained in evidence-based therapeutic lifestyle intervention, that is intended first and foremost as treatment for already existing chronic disease. Because we know and the evidence overwhelmingly shows that cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes, hypertension, so many of the chronic conditions that are driving 80% or more of all of our spending on healthcare in the United States are tied to the treatment of conditions rooted in unhealthy lifestyle behaviors. And so from a therapeutic intervention, it is truly treatment that is prescribed and the patient engages in this behavior modification to treat, often even reverse their disease. And we often say, if the dose of lifestyle medicine is efficacious for treatment, then prevention is the natural byproduct. And in the United States alone, over 60% of adults have already been diagnosed with at least one chronic disease, over 40%, two or more. And now type two diabetes can no longer be called adult onset because so many children are being diagnosed. So this evidence-based therapeutic intervention for treatment is so very important. So that is the baseline of the training and certification in lifestyle medicine those individuals having the opportunity to add this additional layer 
of the community-based population health community solutions. So this will really focus entirely on the Blue Zones principles, which are very consistent and congruent as an overlay, but it addresses the population level and very much about individual transformation, family transformation, community transformation, what communities can do even helping our medical professionals who've been trained in lifestyle medicine to be able to advocate in their own communities for principles that will help with even urban planning design and encouraging restaurants in the communities to offer more healthful options. It's really this whole ecosystem that is absolutely essential to transforming healthcare. Ultimately, as ACLM has been for so long, igniting transformation inside clinic and hospital walls, Blue Zones has been within communities. We believe so strongly that the convergence will have synergistic impact. I think it's just such a powerful thing to empower healthcare professionals to not only be that trusted messenger in the clinic setting, so in the office, in the hospital, but to empower us to feel like these trusted messengers for these healthy messages outside, to pull us out into our communities and really be able to amplify the health messages into families, into communities. And as you know, everything you're saying strikes a chord with me in terms of planetary health as well, because I can envision them just uh, this ripple effect being just so much greater than that one provider doing something one-on-one in the office. Absolutely, Neha. The ripple effect is what is so incredibly powerful. So speaking to a couple of the things you just mentioned, we know that we have such an urgent crisis of this looming pandemic of non-communicable chronic disease around the world that we must look for exponential impact. For every physician, primary care professional that we reach, He or she may have a patient panel of hundreds, if not thousands of patients. And not only is it reaching the patient, but their families. And then that ripple effect, being able to jointly ACLM and Blue Zones work with employers, especially the self-funded employers who bear such a burden of providing health care for their employees to really be a powerful partner for them in helping to increase productivity, rein in their health care costs. So there's so much there. And then we also know, and as you are such a foremost champion of, the inextricable connectedness of our lifestyle choices and lifestyle behaviors on these global sustainability issues and planetary health issues that we care so much about. And if we just look, for example, to what ACLM and Blue Zones advocate, a whole food plant predominant dietary lifestyle. In Blue Zones populations, animal protein was part of their diets three to five times a month. So heavily whole food plant-based because these are the foods that are not only fiber-filled, nutrient-dense, antioxidant-rich, the foods that not only protect health but fight disease, the number one cause of virtually all of our chronic disease and the number one cause of so many of our most pressing global sustainability issues is one and the same. Our Western industrialized diet that we've now exported around the world and yet The solution is one and the same. This shift to a whole food plant predominant dietary lifestyle will not only help to fight chronic disease and promote health, but it also will rein in greenhouse gas emissions, preserve our natural resources like water, for example, and help to feed what soon will be 9 billion people on the face of the earth. So everything that ACLM advocates through regular physical activity, through dietary lifestyle, et cetera, and everything that Blue Zones advocates, it's not only what is best for human health, it's what will help to change the trajectory of our unsustainable chronic disease trends and their associated costs, but it will also be what will promote planetary health. So it's just a win-win all across the board. 
how do you envision patients going out to seek a Blue Zone certified clinician? Why would a patient go out and find one? That is such a great question, and it's such an important question. Sadly, in the United States, we don't have so much a healthcare system as it is a disease and disability care system. Patients have been conditioned to believe, really to believe the lie that they're a victim of their genes, that they're destined to grow old and become chronically ill, and that if they see their physician or primary care provider, they just expect a medication for treatment and for a lifetime of disease management. This is not in the best interest of patients, but is not in the best interest of providers. And so it is ACLM and our sister organizations around the world, the Lifestyle Medicine Global Alliance, medical professional associations around the globe that represent lifestyle medicine, that it's our trained and certified medical professionals that we really want to encourage patients to seek out a physician or medical professional who will lead with a lifestyle medicine first approach to true health care. It's really infusing health back into health care. So it's treating root causes of disease, identifying and eradicating the root cause with the clinical outcome goal of health restoration as opposed to a lifetime of disease management. And so we really want to encourage all the listeners out there to go to lifestylemedpros.org, or it can be lmpros, lmpros.org. And that's a database on ACLM's website where you can search for a lifestyle medicine trained provider. And we will be growing this database over the weeks and months to come. And then starting next year, For those lifestyle medicine trained and certified providers that also add their Blue Zone certification, you'll be able to search and find that as well. Just thinking outside of my clinical role, when I think about the families, the friends that I interact with on a daily basis, I know that so many of us are looking not just for care for ourselves, like you say, it's not just necessarily that pill for that ill, but we really want to create a lifestyle, a change so that our children can be beneficiaries of this. As you say, our elders, those in our home, those that we're caregivers for, we really are looking for health care, like you say, that is going to be whole person, global, and interventions that we know are going to be helping every member of our family and not just necessarily something that's treating one condition for one person. Yes, absolutely, Neha. That is so well stated. And we know that lifestyle medicine is the prescription with only positive side effects. I mean, how many prescriptions can you say that about? And it is something that can touch not only the patient himself or herself, but the members of their family. And to really be true caregivers, to really infuse, again, health back into health care, to empower individuals, to empower providers, physicians, medical professionals, patients, to know that through the power of the choices that you make each and every day by what you eat, how you move, how you sleep, how you manage your stress, that it can have a profound impact on your physical, on your mental health and on your ability to live a healthy, vibrant life and to be engaged in your community. And so ultimately, this is the goal of the partnership of ACLM and Blue Zones. Add years to lives and life to years, very simply put. And we're excited about coming together in partnership of two organizations that are on the forefront of igniting transformation in healthcare. Amazing. And I'm just so thankful to you. But before I let you go, I'd like to close all of my episodes with bite-sized action items. So someone who's listening might be able to create a sustainable change in their life today. So what would be a few bits of advice that you have for our listeners? For patients out there, which all of us are patients, let's actively seek out lifestyle medicine trained providers to be our trusted sources of medical information. So we have the opportunity to work with physicians and clinicians who will strive to treat the root cause of our disease, who will strive to really 
focus on health restoration as opposed to disease management. We owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our families, we owe it to our communities, and truly to our country as we work together to, again, rein in our chronic disease trends and those associated costs. Thank you so, so much, Susan, for being with us today. As always, just so inspiring. We have talked with Susan Benegas about lifestyle medicine, about blue zones, and about how the marriage can be truly transformative for our healthcare system and for our communities. What I'm taking away from this conversation is that medications and procedures are certainly one set of tools in our toolbox to manage illness. But I hope what we come away with from this partnership is that patients and health professionals start recognizing the power of other robust tools that we have in the form of evidence-based lifestyle interventions and community as medicine, not just in the case of illness, but to protect and optimize our health. To find out more information about Blue Zones and lifestyle medicine, check out bluezones.com and we'll have that link in our show notes and also have the links that Susan mentioned to the American College of Lifestyle Medicine and to the database of lifestyle medicine certified providers. Thank you so much for listening. Please take a moment to follow, rate, and review this podcast on your favorite listening platform. If you'd like to send me an email about topics you're interested in or questions for future guests, please send me a note at webmdpodcast at webmd.net. This is Dr. Neha Batak for the WebMD Health Discovered Podcast.